Hey guys, this is Burr with Inside Outline and welcome back to another Cricut video. In today's video, I will be sharing with you my most favorite printer to use with my Cricut machine. I will be showing you all the different pros and cons about this printer and also just giving you a behind the scenes look at this printer. So before we jump into the video, I need you to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So let's jump right in. So the printer that I have is this Epson Eco Tank 2850. I bought this printer at the beginning of this year. As you can see, I do have a brother printer right over here and I've had this printer for a very long time. It's not great for printing color images and stickers and things like that, but I primarily use that printer for printing just black and white documents. And I knew that I wanted to create some more uh, products that included more color like stickers and uh, wine bottle labels and things like that so I knew that I needed to upgrade my printer and I did some research online before purchasing this Epson Eco Tank, and I am absolutely in love with it I bought this printer back in March of this year and ever since then I've printed everything from stickers um, I've made chip bags that have some really uh, good color I also love that I can use um, the glossy paper with this printer and I now have a Cricut Maker 3 and so it can read those registration lines on that glossy paper with no problem whatsoever. So this printer has definitely changed the game for some of the products that I create and I sell in my Cricut business. One of the things that I love most about this printer is that it uses ink bottles instead of ink cartridges. So with the ink cartridges, there is a little packet about this big and you can see the ink inside of it. I'll add a clip in here to show you what those look like. But what I love about this Epson Eco Tank is that it uses an ink bottle. I'll also add an image so you can see what that ink bottle looks like. And basically what basically what you do is to turn the bottle upside down and pour the ink into the printer. I'll also add some video clips throughout the whole video just showing you, you know, how to use this uh, printer and how to put the ink in there and all the different things. But that is one of my most favorite things about this printer. The ink bottles are pretty inexpensive. You can get a variety color pack that has the magenta, the yellow, and the cyan. And I think the black comes separately or maybe a box that has all four colors in there. But I love that, you know, you can see the ink levels on the printer as well on the front of the machine. So I can visually see like which ink needs to be uh, refilled sooner than the others. Another thing that I love about this printer is that you can print wirelessly. So I can use my iPhone to send documents straight from my iPhone to my printer with no problems whatsoever and just print those out and come in here and grab them off my printer. Um, you can see the printer is back here behind me, but I'm going to add some clips in again just to show you uh, just all the ins and outs of this printer. But this is the printer that I'm talking about right here. This is my Epson Eco Tank. 2850. I do have my brother printer over there and again I mostly use that one for printing in black and white and this Epson Eco Tank. This is what I use with my Cricut machine to print out all the things, um, all the print and cut things. I recorded a video showing you how I made an Encanto shirt. I'll have that video linked in the cards above. So I use this printer for all of my print needs now. I use this one to print black and white as well, but most definitely when I'm creating with my Cricut machine, this is my go-to printer. So again, I love that I can print wirelessly. I don't have to have this printer connected to my laptop either. You know, if I'm working on some document or even just using Cricut Design Space and you know, I'm printing, uh, print then cut. I just send the document to my printer without having to have anything connected to my printer And I absolutely love that another reason why I love this printer is because I can obviously print things I can uh, scan copies of things and I think that I can fax from this machine as well But with that you have to have a whole you know ethernet cable and all those things I typically don't need to fax anything and if I do I just go to like a FedEx office or something like that but again this printer is an all-in-one inclusive printer so you can use it for your business needs like I do so whenever I'm printing invoices for for Etsy or my online shop I print those invoices from this printer as well uh, whenever I'm printing out instructions on how to use you know SVG files and all those things to package with my Etsy orders um, I use this printer to do that also uh, whenever I need to scan in like my receipts because I do you know I report 
uh, to the IRS what I make from my Cricut business. So whenever I'm scanning in receipts to show proof of, you know, expenses, I can use my printer to scan in those receipts. So this printer is an all-in-one printer that you can use for either your business needs and also use um, for your Cricut crafting as well. One of the coolest features to me about this printer is that it also has an app. So there is an Epson app that you can use with your printer. And initially when I was setting up my printer, I had to download the app in order to follow step by step on how to set the printer up so that it can connect to my uh, computer. So that is one of the things that I love most about this printer is that you can just literally go into the app and you can you know scan from your app you can print from the app and I just love how the printer and the uh, app itself connect with each other and so that just makes it a seamless process and if you need to troubleshoot anything the app is right there so that you can just log into it or you know sign into it and do whatever you need to do so if you've used your Cricut machine to print and cut you will know that um, you can use your system dialog to determine you know if you want the best quality and the type of paper and all those things and so what one of the things that I love about my printer is that you can choose your paper type and like I've mentioned before I can print on glossy paper with this printer I can uh, print on matte paper or just regular copy paper and I love that because it gives me a variety of different types of projects that I can make with my Cricut machine um, this printer can also use you know cart stock like the 65 pound cart stock I could probably print on the 110 pound or the 100 pound paper as well I have not tried that out but I'm pretty sure that this printer would be able to do that in just a moment I'll show you like how to load the paper into the machine and I love that it is a back feeder or that the paper loads in the back of the machine because that allows it to just directly go like down and into the printer and come out the front of it whereas with my brother printer over here the paper is down on the bottom and so it has to feed up and yeah it's a whole thing um but if you're into you know the tech space you can kind of know about all the different feeder types for printer machines so one of my dislikes for this printer is that it does not allow you to plug in a usb drive so let's say for example for whatever reason i have a document that is on a usb drive and i want to print it from my printer what I have to do is basically to connect my um, connect my adapter to my MacBook and then plug in the USB drive and op open up the document and print it from my computer instead of being able to directly plug the USB drive into the printer itself and print out the document. For some people that may be you know a turn off for others it may not be that big of a deal um, again I do have my brother printer over here that does allow me to uh, print using a USB drive so I just know that if I'm looking to print something directly from a USB drive I probably need to use my brother printer and not my Epson printer but then again most of these documents that we would put on like a USB drive or something like that we most likely have it on a computer already so that's not a big issue for me I'm trying to think if I've had any other dislikes about this printer I don't off the top of my head I can't think of any I know the USB thing that was that kind of caught me off guard but again that's not a that's not a deal breaker for me when it comes to a printer so if I think of any more dislikes I'll be sure to add them into the description box so let's talk about the price of this printer really quickly so for me I was looking for a printer that could do all the things that I needed it to do such as being able to print on glossy paper sticker paper and just being able to print images in high quality and I knew that I could not just get a printer that's about a hundred dollars or so you know to do what I needed it to do not saying that there's anything wrong with you know a cheaper model printer but at the end of the day when you're trying to achieve something specific sometimes you have to spend a little bit more money to get you know what you're looking for so my overall cost for this printer was about I'll say about $400 total and that is including taxes as well. I went to an Office Depot to purchase this printer and they had it in the store and I was super excited because 
with things like purchasing, you know, when, when it comes to purchasing certain technology, uh, I prefer to be able to go in the store and talk to a salesperson about it. So I did go into Office Depot and purchase this printer. Again, it was about $400 total with uh, the taxes and all of that. And it did come with the ink already in the package. And that was one of those questions I made sure to ask. I don't know if all printers come with ink already, you know, in the package. Um, it kind of makes sense that they would, but I just had to ask the sale person that just to make sure because I would hate to spend $400 for a printer and then have to shell out the money immediately for some ink. Uh, I haven't had to buy any more ink since I have had this printer. And again, I have had this printer for a few months now. It was March when I bought it and it's now the end of July. So that lets you know about you know how long lasting this ink is again i print stuff all the time i'm printing high quality images for chip bags i'm printing stickers i'm printing uh shipping labels to go on my etsy packages so i most definitely use this machine all the time again 400 dollars is an investment but at the end of the day you have to determine you know what is the quality that you're going for and what are your intentions uh, for what you're making with your Cricut machine. So I have used a variety of types of paper with my printer and again I've mentioned some of these already but uh, my favorite brand of sticker paper is the Koala sticker paper and I get it from Amazon. It's about $20. I'll be sure to have this uh, sticker paper linked down below. For the uh, glossy paper that I use for my chip bags I also use the Koala brand uh, paper. It's not a sticky sticker paper. It's just a regular paper but it is glossy. Um, and I'll be sure to have that link down below as well. Um, for sticker paper, I use uh, Cricut brand sticker paper also, but I prefer the Koala brand because I get so many more sheets for a good amount, for a good price. And then I'll also I use printable HTV. So I use the StarCraft brand of printable HTV and I absolutely love it. Again, I recorded a video on making an Encanto shirt and I did use my StarCraft uh, HTV or printable HTV for dark materials. So again, this printer can print on a variety of different types of paper and that just that just does it for me. Like I absolutely love this printer. Again, my only dislike so far is that, you know, it does not have a USB port, but that's not a deal breaker for me. So what I'm gonna do now is to just move my camera over so that I can show you some of these details that I, were telling, that I was telling you about when it comes to the printer in general. So this is my printer that I have been telling you all about. It is the Epson EcoTank 2850. I like that the machine has this front panel and I'm going to bring my, my tripod down a little bit more so you can see what I am doing. Okay, so this is the printer itself and um, over here is where I was telling you about how you can see the ink levels on the front side you have your black yellow magenta and your cyan and here you can see my ink levels again I have had this printer since March of this year and I have not had to refill my ink at all um, again I do print a variety of things for uh, my Cricut business so I'm always printing shipping labels and print chip bags on glossy paper print stickers and things like that so you can see uh, where my ink levels currently are I do like this tray in the front that a lot that you can pull out so that when your papers are printed um, they'll just lay here in this tray I do like that you can pull the face of the machine up just so that when papers are coming out they won't get jammed underneath um, and as you can see there is a uh, a screen that screen is not touch screen but it does allow you to it does allow you to uh, see you know just all the different functions and features I'm gonna move the camera a little bit closer and pull it down some so you can see what I'm doing I'm not sure how clear that will be for you but um, if you need to do maintenance on your machine you can do it all from here you can set up your Wi-Fi scan copy and there's also a quiet mode and again as I mentioned on the video there is an app where you can do all of these things as well um, 
there's a home button so you can go back to your home screen and if the uh, printer ever get, gets jammed up or anything like that you can um, it displays the instructions so that you can know how to go about unjamming your machine or your printer so back here on this back side this is where I was telling you all that you can load your paper into the back of your printer and right now I just have some regular copy paper in there um, and it just pulls the paper in and brings it straight through your machine. It doesn't have to flip the paper over or anything like that. Going to lift up this part and this is the scanner. So you can, you know, scan all your documents. Going to lift up the printer from the side and you can see all the inner workings of the printer, the print head and all of those things. Over here, this is where you raise up this part for your ink to go in and it is color coordinated so that you do not accidentally, um, you know, put the wrong color ink in the wrong, um, in the wrong area. So, I'll close up all of this stuff. Again, this is the Epson Eco Tank 2850. You can see that I have some Avery sticker paper over here on this side. I typically buy this when I'm in a bind for sticker paper and I can't wait for, um, I can't wait to order it on Amazon so I just need some really quickly and that is matte white sticker paper. But again, I use the Koala brand because it is glossy and because I can get way more sticker paper um, for better price. So that is the Epson 2850 that I absolutely love using with my Cricut machine. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video on my favorite printer to use with my Cricut machine. If you have any questions about anything mentioned in this video, please be sure to leave your questions or comments down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.